Ta-ta! Hello, kids! Are you ready to draw and paint? I sure can't wait. All right, then. Let's get on to business, kids. We have a white piece of paper that is full of possibilities as usual. And we have our colorful markers. All right. Today, I'm going to draw something really fun. And this time, there's not going to be one character in it, but two characters having equal importance in my drawing. What are my two characters? One of them is a water drop. Anyway, the other one is the fire, a piece of flame, or whatever we want to call it. I mean, why these two? Because they are opposites, kids. I mean, fire and water. Because life is full of opposites. And why is that important? Because I think that's what balance is all about. There is white and black, there's night and day, there's tall and short, and there's water and fire. At least that's what I'd like to think because it's my drawing and I love creativity and making stuff up like you do kids and never lose that ability because it's the best. Anyway, my water looks kind of naughty. I mean, look at his eyes. I mean, he's like he's about to do something really, I don't know, naughty. And my fire, I mean, my piece of flame looks kind of scared and in panic. I don't know why. I mean, it's fire, so it can't be panicking because it's burning. So it must be something else. Yeah, we can see what it is. It's because the water is coming down on our fire and it's about to put it off. So let's talk about our drawing a little bit. Our characters are drawn with my thick black marker as usual. And now I'm about to start coloring my characters. Of course, the water is going to be the best blue color. Our colors have nicknames like the best blues, the big blacks and really reds and the great greens and so on. You know I like giving you tips about painting and drawing in my videos. So here comes another one. Can you see that white rectangle I left? at the top part of my water drop i mean i didn't paint in that area do you know why hmm let's think about it for a minute you know i don't like just coloring my characters i also use shading and shadows and sometimes textures and even patterns and there's something else i mean we can show a lot of stuff in a drawing you know i mean the more i learn the more i'm surprised why I'm leaving that white rectangle on my water drop? Because it's a reflection. Yeah, we can show reflections in our drawings too. I mean, there must be a light source above somewhere in this drawing. So my water drop is a shiny object. So it's reflecting the light. And how I show that in my painting? Of course, by leaving some white areas in my coloring. Anyway, now it's time to start coloring our flame. And we're gonna have a lot more tips in this drawing, kids, because this drawing has a lot of potential for learning. Like, I'm gonna use three colors to color my flame. And those colors are gonna be really red, uh-oh, orange, and yabba dabba yellow. I mean, sometimes we see blue flames somewhere, but still, usually flames and fire are orange and red and yellow color. And what's the main source of fire, kids? Yeah, I bet you know the answer. It's the sun up there, yeah. And sun has those colors like yellows and oranges and reds. And why? Because it has to give us heat and also light. Yeah, that's what sun is for, for our world and for our nature. So we can warm up and we don't get cold and we don't stay in the dark all the time. I mean, sun is an awesome thing, kids. Don't you think? I think so. Anyway, so what's the next tip in our drawing? When you're drawing a piece of flame, kids, the center parts are going to be lighter color and the edges are going to be a darker color. So when we're using three colors like we're doing right now, yellow, orange and red, I'm going to use yellow for the center of my flame. And for the middle parts, I'm going to use orange. And for the very edges of my flame, I'm going to use red. Is it time for a story or is it just me? I think it's time for a story because we don't just draw, we tell stories too. Hmm, let's think about it for a second. I think I got a story. Let's see if it's gonna be interesting. 
these two guys, I mean, these two things, or whatever, met each other one day. And since then, they started messing with each other. I mean, they were playing games, and they were being naughty, and they were messing with each other. I don't know. I mean, they, I mean, th th I think, they, I guess they liked each other, but they were messing with each other all the time. But at the same time, they were hanging out with each other. So, there was a strange situation between them. And they didn't know what, but they felt something. I mean, they felt something deep down. There was some secret or, I don't know, something that bonded them together. I mean, th they were water and fire. They didn't know anything about balance like we humans do. But still, they were hanging out with each other and they were messing with each other. I mean, they were spending a lot of time together. And one day, one day, there was an old, old, old lady. She was really old, but she knew a lot of stuff. She was really wise. And water and fire was chasing each other again, messing with each other. And this lady was passing by, and she was like, Kids, kids, stop. Don't mess with each other. You are siblings. And they were like, what? What do you mean? You guys were siblings. And when you guys were born, you were separated. And one of you went this way and the other one went that way and never knew each other again, never saw each other again. And now you guys found each other, but you don't know who you are. And now I'm here to tell you, you guys are siblings. So you have to get along. Do you hear me, water? Do you hear me, fire? Treat each other good, because you create a balance in the world. I mean, there are a lot of things that create balance, but you are one of them, so you have to get along and treat each other nicely. And they were like, I don't know, it made sense to everyone around, so they couldn't, they couldn't deny it. I mean, they were like, they just hugged each other. I mean, I, I don't know how is that gonna be possible. I mean, I, I don't know, it's fire and water, but still. They were siblings, so they hugged each other, and they cried, and they laughed, and they were really happy, and they looked around, and the lady was gone. Who was that wise lady? Yeah, you know, kids, it was Mother Nature. I, of course, drew some matches in my drawing, because I like drawing the environment of my characters, and matches are related to fire, but kids... Never play with fire and matches. Never ever, because it's very dangerous. You can draw them, because drawing is safe. Ta-ta! Hello, water and fire! You create a great balance! 